Today on In the Know, accuracy in demand forecasting. Both in art and a science, demand forecasting is critically important to supply chain management. But how do you achieve that level of accuracy? We talked to a number of high-level supply chain executives about that very thing. Let's hear what they have to say. You know, it's so exciting. Um, in the area of forecast accuracy, there's still a lot of opportunity to drive improvements, to get a better demand signal. And one of the exciting things today with artificial intelligence and machine learning, bringing new demand signals into the forecasting process allows us to produce a better forecast. And that forecast can continually be refined right to the point of distribution so that you're taking advantage of the best signals in the market uh, to drive your business and to fulfill customer service each and every day. So what we're doing now, because we can add the item in our, in our master data in our ERP system and in IP and Lagility and in demand planning, we can pipeline fill so we can have control of the forecast. And as far as the as far as the safety stock that's required at all of each distribution point and the as far as the manufacturing point the minimum run quantity right so the the roq is so with that being said that has provided us with the sustainability we need to maintain those low inventories we there were three sets of numbers meaning sales had a, had a forecast and a budget finance had a forecast and a budget and so did supply chain now everything, all the data, because of the consistency and the trust that we've given, is all done in Legility. So there's one forecast, there's one budget. We're doing all of 2020 budgeting right now in, in DP and manufacturing planning. We're running all the scenarios there. So we are now driving not only supply chain, we're driving the entire finance and sales from a data-driven um, from budgeting, from forecasting, it's one budget, one forecast. So I think at that point, the relationship was really a tools-based relationship of how do we put in a, a tool that can start to predict and capture um, you know, our plan for what we believe demand is going to show us in the future and how do we integrate that to, at the time, what was a single ERP back-end solution in order to give some direction into our manufacturing operations. And over the years, that's become a lot more complicated, right? Um, as we've expanded, as we've grown in North America, as we've grown globally, our North America footprint has seen more facilities be added to it. It's seen uh, you know, more complicated distribution models be added to it. And so we've needed to add more tools from Legility. So we have a full SNOP process today. That wouldn't be possible without Legility. Mm -hmm. So I can just say that. And what does that mean? We really focus on forecast reconciliation. So we have a plan number by account, uh, Macy's, X millions of dollars, and that's really the input from the sales group. They wanna talk at the customer and account level because financially, um, that's the net sales plan everybody's working from. So I wanted to go to a one number system and say, we're gonna pull the forecast out of Legility in, at a level that's meaningful to the sales group initially to start the conversations about why are we over forecasted? Why are we under forecasted? Is there opportunity, et cetera? And then it grew from there. You know? So we have a, a mini reconciliation meetings with each national account manager, uh, with the field, um, uh, I'd say field independent account uh, uh, executive, with the travel retail executive, and we have these separate meetings, and it uh, culminates into an SNOP meeting at the end of the month mm -hmm. with the executive group. Yeah, so now what we're focusing on is to actually come up with a single version of the truth for our customer forecast. So we have a customer forecast, we have a shipment forecast, we've got a demand forecast. So we've got multiple different versions of the forecast. So our, our, our focus now is to get, get to a single version. And then we're going to try and implement um, a lot of the SNOP and SNOE processes using the tool. We have processes in place, but now the next step is to automate uh, a lot of it, leveraging Legility. So really we're converting from a decentralized planning model to a centralized planning model where we can have a holistic view of our network, look across our network, make the decisions that are going to drive and support those customer service level targets that we have, making sure that we're making the decisions that are going to drive those cost level targets, managing our transportation across our network, which is a significant portion of our spend. The challenge for us is making sure that we put that right item in the right store. And we use RO allocation to be able to do that um, through all life cycles of the item. So whether we write the order six months 
before we receive it, or right before it's received, we use the system to be able to allocate that product to the stores. Then after the product is received, we also use uh, RO allocation to replenish the items back to the store. So for us, it's all about understanding how many units is that store going to sell, in what sizes, and at what time. Our business is unique and it crosses all of the United States um, for the finish line. And it's not just the finish line, we also operate shops with inside of Macy's. So not only do we have standalone shops in the mall, but we also have shops inside of Macy's. Well, it's always understanding the demand of that customer. So is the customer going to buy it online? How many are they going to buy? Are they going to expect it in all of our stores or only some of our stores? So we need to continue to sell through our inventory at reg price and quickly so that we can make room for the next product that the customer expects. So for us, it's making sure that we buy the right item in the right sizes Otherwise, it's a markdown liability. Well, there you have it. Information you can use, information that puts you in the know.